Hi everyone, we are here to test the Sea Hopper Mark One. And look at this beautiful location behind me. It's really steady and still water for this thing. I have already done a sinky sinky test, so just to see if it doesn't go to the bottom. And we have some unexpected visitors. We have some ducks and some ducklings around here. So we don't want to bother them. So while we wait for them to leave, let's talk about this week's sponsor. Okay, this week's sponsor is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with more than 25,000 classes in, for example, Fusion 360, which is what I use to design my projects. And right now I'm checking one about building your own RC airplane. You know what that means? Premium membership gives you unlimited access so you can join the classes and communities that are just right for you. Whether you want to fuel your curiosity, your creativity, or even your career, Skillshare is the perfect place to keep you learning and thriving. An annual subscription is less than $10 a month. Join more than 7 million creators already learning with Skillshare. And for that, the first 500 of my subscribers to use the link on the description will get a two month free trial. And now let's go back to the boat. So now let me install the cameras in every possible angle that I can fit by myself and put this thing in the water. Okay, here we go, sea hopper test number one. The small paddles and floaty, floaty and movie, movie. Okay, let's try and do a small recovery test just to see if I can bring it where I am now. Okay, it seems that I can, so let's try and have some fun. That's probably a quarter of the beans that we have. That last one, that, that, that was unintentional, but it seems to, to go, well, like I can steer it. I don't know if water is, is getting inside it or anything, but I can control it. But one thing is that I, I think it's a little bit back heavy. Some of you told me that in the comments and the, the paddles are in the highest position and still I think they are a little bit high. I don't think I will be able to use one of the bigger paddles because those those ones are already halfway inside uh, of the water like let let me let me show you you see those are already halfway in the water and once they start pushing they go even lower so i don't think that's going to solve anything like bigger wheels i don't think so but i will i will try to do some some runs now to see if i can get to to the top speed let's see Okay, the boat did some weird beeping. That might mean that there is water in it. So I will try to bring it to, bring it short and to see if there is some water inside or, or anything. Let's, let's go gentle. <laughs> let's see if we can bring it to shore. It's steerable. It is not 
crazy fast steering, but it does steer. Okay, let's see, let's see if there is water inside or not. It seems that some water entered through here, but that's just a, like, there is just like a, a drop in there. Can you see it? Yeah, that's, that's not what worries me. What worries me is flooding the battery or anything. Well, it doesn't seem to be any water inside. And I don't, I don't know what those beeps were. Maybe some faulty cable. But I think we can have some more fun. Yes, let's give it another go. Okay, I will call it a success because, well, because it didn't sink, because it moves forward and I can, I can steer it. <laughs> so <laughs> I cannot ask for more. We already knew this was a shitty design. Paddle boats are not mainstream for a reason, but I think we, we have been able to pull some, some nice boat and, and I will be able to recover it from the water without a, a net or, or something like that. So I call the Sea Hopper Mark I a success. Don't forget to check Skillshare link on the description. Thanks a lot to all my patrons for supporting me and supporting this channel, all this madness. And now please go and make something. I'm having too much fun with this thing. I almost fell into the water trying to record slow-mo. The camera is all wet. I'm all wet. The backpack, everything is, <laughs> is wet because the spray from that thing is huge. So they, I'm really happy with the, with the thing. But do you remember that I said that this is the, the small scale test? <laughs> Bye. <laughs>